And now it's time for Jose's Theater. And now, here's the host of the show, Jose! Oh, 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 of course, of course. Okay, ready? Ready? Here we go. Hello! Thank you, thank you. Hello there, and welcome to Jose's Theater. I'm your host, Jose. Today, in today, do you know what we're going to read about today? Well, it's, it's white, and it comes falling to the ground, right? That's right. We're going to read about snow, right? And today we're going to read about the snow day, the snowy day, right? Right? Okay, here we go. The snowy day. Here we go. All right. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <clears throat> here we go. One winter morning, Peter, not Peter Pan, woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything far as he could see. Yeah, look, snow! <laughs> and not even an owl eye! Right? Here we go. Here we go. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Walk, 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 walk. Walking like a duck and, and waddling like a penguin too. Waddle, 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 waddle. Okay. I don't know what's next. <laughs> oh, crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow, walked with his toes, pointing out like this. Mm. He walked with his toes, pointing in like that. Look, see. Look, see. <laughs> no, then he dragged his feet slow, slowly like a turtle. Slowly. <laughs> to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Look, look, see. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. That's not nice, right? Oh, 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 oh sorry, 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 sorry. Here we go. Down fell the snow, plop, on the top of Peter's head. Not Peter Pan, right? No, 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 no. Look, see. Plop! I, I, I mean, plop! <laughs> he thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight. But he knew wasn't old enough, not yet. Look, see. So he made a smiling snowman. And made a snow angel. And he made snow angels, right? Look, just like the other snowman. And even Olaf from Frozen. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Sorry, sorry. You ready for me? He pretend was a um, he pretend was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow. And slid, slid down all the way down. Whee! He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. There. Oh, 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 oops, whoops. Yeah, here we go. Now, he picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it around and firmed and put all the snowmen in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went, then he went into his warm house and told his mother all about his adventures while he, she 
took off his wet socks. They're wet socks. Okay. He fought and fought and fought about them. Rubber ducky, you're the one. <laughs> before he got out, before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very, very sad. Look, see, ah,、oh, so sad, so sad. Hmm. Here comes some more sad things, right? Ready? Here we go. While he slept in his, he dreamt that the sun melt. He had melt, had melt all the snowy, the snow away, right? Yeah. But the good news is, when but when he woke up. His dream was gone. The snow has still everywhere. New snow had was fallen. Look at that. Now Peter, the boy, was happy now, right? After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. The end. Did you like the story? I sure did. Did you like the story, Peter?、Mm, yeah. yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you had a great time, and thank you for joining us. Right. Be sure to tune in next time for more epi- for another episode of Jose's Theater. Until then, keep reading.